So guys, now let's start with the introduction of HTML, CSS, okay? The basic introduction. So for that, what I have done, I have opened a platform called CodePen. You can open this website directly. You can sign up or you can even start without sign up, but I'll suggest you to sign up. Now, why this website is little crucial? This website is crucial because of what it is storing. It has a lot of design from which you can get inspired. It's just not design. Like whenever you see something, you will, of course, when you click on that something like, let's suppose you like this. So when you open this, you will not only see that design, you will also be able to see that code, provided it is public, okay? Then you'll be able to see that code and you can see how it has been coded. So you can basically, if I want to show you in full mode, so what you can do, you can click here and there's an option for full, uh, full page view, okay? So if you click here, so it will come in the full page. Now you have a, so it's looking quite nice, right? As you, I'm scrolling down. Now this is amazing, right? Okay, so there can be a lot and lot of things like this. This is just one thing, right? Okay, there can be a lot and lot things of things like this. Okay, now this is a website which you can get inspired from. Okay, that is why I have started your means in, with the introduction of this website. Okay, and we'll put the initial thing on this website. Okay, so click on this logo and you can go to pen. Okay, this pen pen basically means here you can say up like you can start your own code. Okay, so now you will get like something like this. Okay, of course I don't want this style, so of course you can change it. I love this type of style in which this is on the left side. Okay, but you can choose it wherever you want. Totally up to you. Okay, in this view option. Okay, so of course you can make it a little bigger. Okay, I can give it a name. Let's suppose basic intro. Okay, now what is this? Okay, so you can see there are three sections, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So currently we are not concerned about JavaScript at all. We are just concerned about HTML and CSS. So what are these, HTML and CSS? So let's have a look. Okay, so as of now, you may be knowing HTML is like the basic building block of the website. Like it will have each and everything, like headings, paragraph, images, links, each and everything. Then the decoration part is with CSS and some of the interaction features come from JavaScript. Okay, so let's start building some of them. Okay, and let's apply some CSS to them. Okay, so that we can basically figure out. Okay, and then we will move to Visual Code Studio and see what is the changes. Okay, so display, whatever I write here, this is not actually you write HTML and CSS, but this can help you to get started faster. Okay, then we'll go to Visual Code Studio where we'll redo these things and you'll get the difference. Okay, awesome. So let's have a look. So this is more like, let's suppose, let's start with headings. Okay, so there are technically six types of heading in HTML. So yeah, it starts, the names are very simple in HTML. The first heading is H1 and the last is H6. So H1 to H6. Okay, so you just, the, how do write, how do I write HTML tag? You can call this as an auxiliary bracket or less than greater than symbol, whatever. Inside this, you write the name of the tag, H1. Okay, Since this is a place where the tag has got started and then you can write something like, let's suppose heading one, whatever you want to write in between. Okay, and when, the, when you want to end something, then again, these brackets only followed by H1. Okay, just you have to add a slash before it. Okay, this basically means it has started here, it has ended. Okay, it's simple, almost all the elements. Of course, there are a few changes, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Accordingly, you can save it here. Okay, and you can see the changes heading up. So what I'll, I'll quickly do, okay. Why did it, it got reloaded? I don't know, no problem. I think when, if you save it, it, it will get reloaded, maybe. So let me do it, okay, here. Okay, and let me make all the six tags. The second tag is H2. And the good thing is when you change this, this will automatically change for you, okay? In Visual Code Studio, this is not there. So we'll add that feature in Visual, Visual Code Studio. Remember this, if I'm changing this to, this is automatically changing, okay? So let me paste three, three, four, five, and six. Let me make this three. Let me make this as four. Let me make this as five. Let me make this as six. So these are your six type of heading. Now you can see first heading, say at two sixth heading, or whichever you need it. And now it depends on your project and situation, which, which you are needing and which you don't need it, right? But I generally prefer using H2. So let me make it, give them a proper name. Heading three, this is heading four. 
this is heading five, this is heading six. Perfect. Awesome. What I'll explain, I'll also explain you the basic CSS with them so you can get a little idea. Okay, though we'll do the advanced CSS with the when we study CSS in detail. So guys, okay, so how do I apply CSS to them? What do you mean by CSS means? How do I beautify these? Okay, H1 to H3. Let's suppose I want to apply some CSS on my H1. So how can I do it? It's quite simple. Go to CSS section, just write that tag name. So what is your tag name? We'll say H1. H1 without that uh, auxiliary bracket, okay? Don't use that, okay? And then put a curly brackets here, okay? Now inside the curly brackets, whatever you write will be applied to that. Okay, like there are a lot of things in CSS you can apply. So I'll be telling you simple, simple things. One is called color. Let's make it red. So I have made the color red. So you can see color means by default, it means text color. Col text color of this will become red. Whatever, let's suppose you want to put the background as uh, black. It's currently white now. So what will you put? Back. Ground color as black. So now this is black. Perfect. We got it. Perfect. I'll tell you one more property here, which is called text align. What can text align help you? Text align can help you to position this text on this black part. On the, this black part is a complete section. Okay. So on this complete section, like if you write by default, this is the default value. If you don't give text align, so by default, this will be the value. So if you want to put it to, let's suppose, right, so now it will go to right. Okay, please move to right. Or if you want to move to center, it will move to center. Okay. Awesome. So this is what our H1 can, like, this is how you can decorate something. So if you want to decorate H2 also, you can have multiple H2. Right? So let's suppose, let's copy these only. Like I'm not telling you more CSS properties. Okay, let's stick with them. Okay, and just change them. Let's suppose this color may be like blue and background color, let's suppose it's green. And let it be in center. Okay, but you can keep it anywhere. Okay, so you got the point. Similarly, you can put, arrange all of them. Like you can give color to all of them, right? Let's suppose you want to give the color to H3. But to H3, what you want to do now, you want to give the same color as H1, exactly same color as H1. So, of course, you can write like this, not a problem, H3, but everything same like H1. So, I'll say now, do you see, it's a very important principle of coding, not to repeat your code. If you are repeating your code, that means you have to find a way from which you don't repeat your code. So, there are a number of ways in HTML to prevent repeating the code, like this is basically CSS, so right? of course, in CSS. So how, so if the things are same, like exactly the things are same, instead of writing it multiple times, remove this, okay? What you can do, you can give it a comma here, h1, comma, h3. So what will happen? The CSS of h1, this whole CSS will be applied to h1 also and s3 also. Got it? Perfect. So great guys, I hope you got, uh, you understood the basics of HTML and D6 of CSS, very basics, right? So guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video, right? And as you know, these kind of videos, we are able to bring such quality content because of Newton School. Newton School is a, like a platform which helps you guys to perform a great career, okay? To me, it will help you to build a great career in full stack development. Whether you are a working professional or a fresher, doesn't matter, okay? They have different kind of batches for everyone. If you are a fresher, the best thing is you don't have to pay until you guys get placed with a package of 5 lakhs or more. If you are experienced, depending on your previous package, you guys, we can sit and decide your new packages, right? And then finally, once you get placed, and that's the time to rock. So they help you guys to build a great career, okay? So if you are interested in get, getting a great career in a tech background, do check out the link that is below this video. Okay, guys. So see you in the next video. Wait guys, where are you going? So fast? That's not good. Why? Because you have to do something small, small thing. And what are those? First, do like my uh, video if you really enjoyed it. Okay? Give it a thumbs up. That will be quite motivating for me. 
okay subscribe to my channel and do turn on the bell notification like what will happen so you can get the future notifications of all my videos like i upload videos almost daily okay if you have any doubts or confusion don't forget to put a comment i'll try to answer your query as far as possible and you guys know sharing is power right sharing is knowledge as it has been rightly said so if you want both power and knowledge do share it with your friends okay and before you go you can also check out this course on launchpad uh, like on launchpad you'll get much more features like quiz and other things after every video okay okay guys so now i'll see you in the next videos bye bye